Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. We're really uh, happy to have um, with us today Josh Butner Garrett, who's the CTO of Solid Power. He will be uh, speaking at our upcoming Solid State Batteries virtual conference coming up on August 3 through 4. And we're excited to have him with us today. Uh, welcome, Josh. Thank you. Um, I was wondering, um, you know, Solid Power produces all solid state battery cells. Um, you know, can you talk a little bit about what is an all solid state cell versus, you know, how different it is from a solid state or lithium ion battery chemistry? Absolutely. Yeah, terminology can be a bit confusing these days. Uh, basically, all solid state just means that we replace the conventional flammable organic liquid electrolyte in lithium ion today with an all solid electrolyte material. Uh, the all gets stuck in there because some groups now use the solid state battery term really for any cell containing a solid electrolyte, even if a liquid electrolyte is also present. Uh, but in our case, 100% of the cell is a solid. And this has advantages in areas like safety and cell lifetime, and then enabling high capacity electrode materials like lithium metals, silicon, and next generation cathodes. Oh, great, great. Um, you know, solid power um, touts his ability to manufacture all solid state cells and, you know, in existing lithium ion production equipment. Um, can you talk a little bit about those benefits of using lithium ion production processes and equipment, you know, when it comes to cost and speed to market for, for solid state? Absolutely. Uh, traditional lithium ion production infrastructure is seeing a huge level of growth right now. And the technology has gotten very cheap as the industry has matured. Coming in right now with a new cell technology and an entirely new cell production process makes it extremely difficult to get to scale at the right price point over the next several years. And so in our case, uh, being compatible with state-of-the-art lithium ion production allows us to partner with established tier one cell producers, take advantage of the last uh, three decades of production optimization from the industry and get to market quickly with a low cost, reliable product. That also allows us to take advantage of any improvements to conventional lithium ion processing that might arise in the future. That's great. And I know that, um, you know, Solid Power recently announced that all solid, uh, a, new, a new all solid state battery platform technology. Um, how does the platform and the cells it can produce that solid power apart, you know, from other solutions? Yeah, so in recent years, we've talked most about materials like lithium metal anodes and NMC cathodes. Uh, but we have also been developing other electrode types uh, like silicon anodes, and conversion reaction type cathodes, for example, uh, since nearly day one. One great aspect of sulfide solid electrolytes is that they can be used not only in separator layers, uh, but also in anode and cathode layers. And this really opens up the cell design space while also maintaining that compatibility with the traditional lithium ion production processes. Uh, that flexibility also allows us to get to market quickly with electrode materials like silicon and NMC, and then have a product roadmap with both performance and cost upside using materials like lithium metal anodes and sulfur-based cathodes. Yeah, that's great. I mean, the market, getting to market fast is always so critical among those other issues. I mean, it's, 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 it's really critical. Um, Absolutely. You know, what, what advantages does solid powers, silicon anode have over the silicon containing anodes, you know, being used in lithium ion, being used in lithium ion. Can you talk a little bit about the advantage on that side? Yeah. So, you know, silicon can be an extremely compelling material uh, due to its high capacity per mass volume. Uh, which can be in the same ballpark as lithium metal. Uh, but in conventional lithium ions, silicon is typically included as a minority additive to a carbon anode. And this can result in incremental improvements to cell capacity, but you tend to run into cycle life and calendar life and potentially safety issues if the silicon content becomes substantial. And uh, so rather than using silicon as an additive uh, at solid power, we're able to use anode compositions with more than half silicon by weight. And that includes the weight of any solid electrolyte in the layer. And 
This enables volumetric energy density on par with lithium metal-based designs. And then uh, the silicon also has major advantages in areas like uh, quick charging and long-term cycling at low temperatures. Um, the solid state design also addresses a lot of the traditional challenges of these silicon rich anodes, including areas like poor cycle life and the need for expensive nanostructured materials. That's great. Um, you know, can you talk a little bit about, you know, as we're, as we're finishing up, uh, uh, where you see what the future looks like, you know, for solid power and, and how, where, where, you're, where the excitement is and, and what you see for the real opportunities for growth for you guys? Yeah, so for me, you know, the, um, the excitement uh, comes mostly just from the magnitude of what we're aiming to accomplish over the next few years. Uh, right now we're working on our 100 amp hour EV cell pilot line and that will be up and running in the first half of next year. And uh, we have incredible partners on the auto OEM side too, and we'll be underway with the early stages of automotive qualification with those groups next year as well. Uh, so I think most exciting for me is just the confidence that over the next several years, I'll be able to visit a car dealership and purchase an EV that runs on solid power technology. I think that's uh, a pretty cool position to be in. Yeah, that's great. That's fantastic. And, um, you know, thank you so much for spending a few minutes with us this afternoon. And uh, we look forward to hearing your presentation on the uh, on August uh, 2nd through 3rd for the upcoming Solid State Batteries Virtual Conference. And thanks a lot. It was great to chat with you. Thanks, Craig. Looking forward to the conference. Great.